Hey everyone, welcome back to the sorcery only challenge run. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to stream today because, well, actually I got things wrong and I'm leaving tomorrow on Saturday, not Sunday, as I previously thought. So I will be busy this evening doing things like, you know, packing, getting ready, doing some last minute shopping and all this. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to stream. Still, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Uh with not finishing this playthrough. Uh, so I thought that I would record this offline and try and kill Gwyn this way and see what happens. Now, this is, believe me, this is not the first time I'm doing this recording. I've been going for a long time because this guy, this way, as in Gwyn, with this build, is probably the most difficult thing I've ever tried to do in a Souls game. This is very close to pushing the limit of what I'm capable of. In fact, it might even exceed the limit of what I'm capable of. I've been going for... Well, it's over two and a half hours at this point, the various recordings. And I am no closer to getting him. I've tried everything. I have the Ring of Favor and Protection on. However, I want to try again. I was very close to giving up. However, I want to try again because I saw... A tactic which might work if you don't screw up the parry. Yeah, this is again, this is so unimaginably difficult uh, that it's difficult to describe. I mean, you make a single error with your parry, with your movement, whatever, you are dead. There, there is no two ways about it. You are dead. And the real shame about this area is that there is no easy way to get into red tear stone mode here. Um, the issue is that all of these knights one shot me, all of the black knights. So now that I have the ring of favor and protection on, I can survive one hit, but then I'd have to take it off to get the red tear stone on. And then I wouldn't be able to get back into Red Tear Stone mode again, if that makes any sense. But yeah, the tactic I've seen is by the only other person who, to my knowledge, has done this challenge run. Uh, there's three videos on YouTube uh, of people attempting this. There's me. There is one guy uh, who actually did it. He did it no hit as well, but he's like an amazing player. Uh, and there's a third guy who was stuck on Gwyn for three and a, almost four hours. It was like three hours and 45 minutes and he just rage quit. And I'm afraid that unfortunately I am in the latter category. However, what I've seen is that the guy who has done it no hit was using a very specific tactic of getting uh, Gwyn stuck in an AI loop where he only jumps at you and... That's the thing. The only thing there you have to get right is parrying between the two jump attacks he has. Because what makes this almost impossible is his one-handed slash. The one-handed slash takes like 95% of your HP with this build. Uh, and that's the thing that really screws you over. So this is what the guy does. Um... See, this is like... This is the loop. So what he does is he goes behind Gwen. Yeah. I, I, I can't do it. Uh, so what he does is he parries goes behind, shoots him with the spell, and then runs away. Which should trigger him to jump. Now, all of the times he jumped at me there, he didn't actually reach me. And that's what screwed me over. Because, again, what you're really trying to avoid here, absolutely trying to avoid here, is Gwen using his one-handed slash. I read up on this. The one-handed slash has a two-frame window for you to parry or to react to. A two-frame window, just think about that. This game runs at 60 FPS per second. So it's 2 60th of a second, i.e. 1 30th of a second. 
uh, that you have to react uh, to Gwen's quick slash. That is nearly impossible. I mean, fighting games, like some of the hardest fighting games barely have two frame links. Um, so that's why I'm saying you really want to absolutely 100% avoid him using the one-handed slash. And one of the ways to do it is to repost him. And there it's possible to get him stuck in a sort of AI loop where there's like a 70% chance of him using the two-handed slash. But again, it's not guaranteed. And with this build, when the one-handed slash is guaranteed to almost kill you, it's it's not a reliable way. Uh, so again, what that guy does is this strafing and then running away thing to bait the jump attacks. And again, the only thing that's very difficult there is differentiating between the two jump attacks he has, which do have different parry timings. Oh, are, mm. that's actually the first time that's happened. It's not gonna work. Fuck. <sighs> I think there's like a very specific distance he runs. Um, yeah, this is, I, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep trying this. This, this feels beyond what I'm capable of. And it's really frustrating because I had one run where he was one hit away. And I thought that that was gonna be sort of what I'll be building towards. But I'm realizing now that may have been just like a one in a million shot where I got the perfect sort of AI patterns and everything because I haven't even, since then, I haven't even gotten him past like half his life. Uh, and again, I've been over... Today, in separate recording sessions, I've been going for like three hours at this point, so I don't know, man. I don't know. He's dead. This is, yeah, I, I had to do it this way. Um, without this AI loop and without my weapon, I couldn't have done it. I could not have done it. This is so difficult spells only because you cannot knock him down. Again, it's possible. I've seen it be done, but that guy that did it is truly an amazing player. And he was using, I think, a very specific tactic with like the spacing and everything that I, I, I just couldn't replicate. But I'm so glad this is done. I'm just so glad that this is done. Uh, so, yeah, technically this wasn't spells only. In the end, I failed in the final boss, but I truly, I truly invite anyone to try and do this. Um, this game is very difficult with this setup. Believe me, it's very difficult. And Gwen is just a whole other, it's just a whole other thing. Like, there are two ways to really get through Gwyn easily. One is to have lots of HP and decent damage. The other one is if you can have, like, low HP and if you have amazing damage, you can do it. I mean, I've beat Gwyn soul level 1 before, 
but in that soul level one build i had a maxed out uh what you call it reinforced club i had all the buffs i had pyromancies and everything way easier here on this build you do not have the damage i mean you saw that a great soul arrow does like 300 damage to him uh do it does not meet the criteria where you only need like four parries for him to die and playing that perfectly for however many spells it takes to kill him is just next to impossible i mean he does one of those one-handed slashes and you're you're fucked up uh so yeah i had to do this with the dagger still i'm very proud of this challenge run genuinely i'm very proud that i aside from gwen managed to clear this game soul level three sorceries only it truly has been a journey the streams were extremely fun i really enjoyed every moment of this except for this gwen thing this was a nightmare um yeah truly the only thing i can say is thank you guys very much for stopping by on the streams and on this video again it's difficult to convey how difficult Gwen is through this, but yeah, I still had a blast and streams are going to be back, people, believe me. I already have my next run planned out when I'm back. Next week I'm back on Thursday, Thursday evening. So Friday I'm going to be starting a new stream, which I will announce later. Don't want to, you know, uh, spoil anything, but I'll just say that it's Bloodborne related. And that's all I want to say. Still, again, thank you very much, guys, for watching this. Thank you for stopping by on the streams. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy this, make sure to give this a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time on the videos and on the streams. Peace out.